album of the last decade. And I'm thrilled to have him on the show at last. Please welcome James Blunt. <laughs> Very good to see you. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well. It's nice to see you. Woohoo! Yeah, I haven't seen you in a very long time. Yeah. I know. We, we follow each other. We're Facebook friends. We are, seriously. I get poked daily by Graham Norton. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, you thought he likes touring. You've been touring for two years, haven't you? Yeah, yeah I did. I think I did about 260 cities in a, in a 12 month period, which was long. That I Slacker. Ended up in, ended up in <laughs> I ended up in places like Kazakhstan and. Albania. And when, when you're performing around, do you still do the thing with the Marmite? What's this bit? <laughs> I'm just going to sit back and I thought, hello, what's that? <laughs> yeah, I, um, I use Marmite... Oh dear. <laughs> I use Marmite to lubricate my throat on stage. Um, and so, yeah, so I, I eat it on stage. It lubricates the throat. It's like a vitamin B12 lubricant. But you've discovered... <laughs> you've now got it in a squeezy bottle, haven't you? I have you? it in a squeezy bottle. I've had, I've had a squeezy accident on stage as well, where <laughs> as, the lights, as the lights went down and in the darkness I tried to squeeze my marmite into my mouth and missed my mouth and got it all over my face. <laughs> as the lights came on, it looked like I'd been performing some weird sex act. <laughs> I love the idea that just as he's got it all over his face, he's going, You're beautiful. <laughs> Now listen, I really want to have you on the show because I feel sorry for you in a way because you are a kind of working definition of victim of your own success. Which seems to have turned... Do you feel it's turned a corner now? Um, you know, you're, what you're saying is sometimes I get a bit of a hard time in, yes. in Britain, don't I? Yes. But it's probably well deserved. No! All, I... all you did, all you did was have a song that got played to death. Yeah. Absolutely. What was that song? <laughs> Were you ever tempted to bring out a song, because it was played so much, called I've Changed My Mind, You're As Rough As <laughs> it means I definitely have difficulty talking to any women, don't I say? I can't really say to a girl, God, you're really beautiful. You say you're especially mm. good-looking at mm. the moment. Let's <laughs> hope you will be tomorrow when I'm sober. <laughs> I can see why he stopped doing the ballads. <laughs> Because you uh, must have got a love-hate relationship with that song now. I mean, do you still... Is it still in your set? People go to see you in your concert, is it still in? Um, no, no, I, I play that all the time. You know, if, if you asked me to play um, a song now, I'd play my new single, because it's happy, and I would play 1973, because it was... A, um, because it worked really well around the world. And, of course, lots of people want to hear You're Beautiful, and that's why I think it was, you know, number one on the weddings chart of songs. So, presumably, there are lots of people who do enjoy it and hopefully still enjoy it. In fact, you, I heard you, you sang it live at uh, Elton John and David Furniture's wedding. Absolutely. Didn't quite know where to look, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last year, weddings, and next year I'll be doing the cruise ships. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> that father was the one...